In Illustrator, there's two ways to create masks for an object or multiple objects, both having advantages and disadvantages. The first method I'm going to show you is to use a clipping mask. Now, before we do that, I just want you to notice how my layers are laid out here. I have uh, my individual color shapes here that I want to be masked in a colors layer. And then I have my letter M in an M layer. So to create a clipping mask, we're just going to select all of our objects. And it's important that the object that I want to be the mask to be above my other shapes. It doesn't need to be at the top of my layer stack, but it needs to be above the shapes that I want to mask. I'm then going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And then notice over on my clipping or my layer tablet here or layer palette here that all of my shapes got put into this clip group. This means that I can add shapes to this if I want. So I can say draw a circle here. We'll jump over to properties and change the color of that circle. And then to add that to my clip group, I just drag that down into my clip group and it gets clipped as well. Now this is neat because I can continue to move this around and it continues to be clipped. I can also select my clip group layer, which is the letter M, and edit the individual points here. Now the advantage of this is that it's very quick and easy. The disadvantage is that I can't do this with more than one shape and I don't have control over it like I would over a true opacity mask like we would have in, say, Photoshop. Now there is a way to create a true opacity mask in Illustrator, but the setup is a little complicated. So I'm going to walk you through that now. I'm just going to hit Control Z to back up to my individual or my uh, original starting point. I'm going to hide our letter M here. And I'm going to unhide this text masking. Now this is a text layer, so I can edit it if I want, as you can see. I can edit it even after I use it to create a mask. Uh, also note that it's white. It's important that uh, we choose white to start with. Um, in a true opacity mask, things that are white are completely opaque. Things that are black are completely transparent. And things that are gray are going to be somewhere in between. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my word or cut it. In my case, I'm going to use Control X to cut it. I'm then going to select my colors layer here. It's important that we actually select it with this radio button. If not, we may accidentally mask a layer that we don't want to mask. I also want to mask all of my individual shapes here. So I want to select the uh, master layer that includes all of them. Um, rather than selecting them one at a time. I'm then going to jump over to my Properties menu and click on the word Opacity and click the word Make Mask. Now when I do this, everything disappears because we essentially apply a black mask to uh, our main layer there. Now uh, this is where it gets a little bit weird. In order to access this mask and edit it, I'm going to need to click on this thumbnail I'm then going to come up and click on my layers and you'll see that all your layers disappear. This is because we're now in a opacity mask layer editor. Um, so I can now control shift V my text into that layer and we see that we have a clipping mask or an opacity mask. Now if I want I can come in and say change my color to gray. Uh, that makes it slightly transparent. I can also add other objects to this clipping mask. We can see that we have a uh, master layer and sub layers just like we would normally have in any other uh, layer stack. So say I want to do something like just cut a small line through the center of this. I'll just draw a small square there. I'll jump over to my properties and make that black. And I have a line being cut through my text. Just for the sake of making it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to duplicate this a few times. Like that. And we have a very complex mask, 
mask that we've created now. Now, in order to get back out to my layers to edit them uh, the way I would normally edit them, um, you'll see that I have all these different layers here. I'm going to do this the same way I uh, I got into this layer opacity mask editor. I'm just going to click on my master layer up here, go to properties, click on the word opacity. I'm then going to click on our other thumbnail and then go back to my layers. And you'll see that we have all of our normal layers back. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting many more videos in the future. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials you'd like me to do, please don't hesitate to comment down below.